Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we've got a quick video today, uh, had a few questions about this and we're just going to show you how to overlap a couple of elements using negative margin. And negative margin is a really useful thing to learn for positioning. You can get some great style features going. Okay, well let's get started. I'm going to enable my visual builder here. And let's just delete these two elements I've got here. There we go. So I've got a row with two columns and this will work with however many columns you want. Let's add an image to each of these columns. And I guess I'll use the same images as I used before. And I'll just copy this and pull it over. And we'll change out the image. OK. Well, we've got two images there. And I want to make them overlap. So let's see, let's pull this one down and across with some negative margin. So I'm going to go into the new one right here, design, I'm going to go to spacing and there's margin right there. What I'm going to do is get a negative margin on the left and a positive margin on the right, which will pull it over. So I'm going to say negative 100, it'll put in the pics for you. As you can see, it's pulled it over by 100, but it's also made it a lot bigger. So if we put 100 on the right, it should make it the same size as it was. Perfect. Great. Now we want to pull it down a little bit. So let's give it margin on the top of 100. There we go. And you've got two overlapping images. OK, well, these are slightly offset to the left, so we can overlap them a bit more and get them in the middle. So let's go into our right one here. I'm going to go to design and then spacing. So I'm going to give it negative on the right and positive on the left. And there we go. We've got our two images centered in our row, but they're overlapping nicely there. Save our changes and exit the Visual Builder. And there we are. There's two overlapping elements using a bit of negative margin. Of course, this will work on text modules, blurbs, anything you want, image in a blurb, however you want to do it. So I hope you found that useful today and enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.